Ah, uh, sorry, Psalms 68. I'm just running through because I, I have to give you a base. So when you have to pray, you don't think to black people belong shame, poverty, or whatever. As we've been told, some black people. What is wrong with black people? I'm going to show you. Psalm 68. Let my people go. Kadabazaya kalaba daba taba labada. Reba ba 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 shatalaba. Psalm 68, verse 31. Princes shall come out of Egypt. And I said the word Egypt is the land of harm, the land of blacks. Watch it. And Ethiopia, Ethio is a Greek word. Ethiopia is a Greek word. Did you understand? When you see Ethiopia, it is black people. Let me take you to show you in Isaiah chapter 18. Ethiopia is black people, it's not Arabia. He said, princes shall come out of Africa. Princes and priests. The word there is Kashim. It means wealthy, opulent, military command. Priests and priestesses, governors, president, ambassadors, scientists, inventors. I never saw that he said princes will come out of Europe. Where are the inventors of Africa? Where are the princes of Africa? Kadabazayatalabade. Jeremiah found that the time of their slavery was long overdue and he set his face to seek the Lord. When you find that the time of your yoke, because the the Bible in Isaiah chapter 20 mentions that the Africans are going to be carried away as slaves. But it doesn't say it is eternal. When the British were carrying away Ghanaians from Ghana, they said the land of no return. Prophecies are beginning to unfold. So Nana Adukufo, the president of Ghana, last year launched a program called Return. The year of return. And how many people return back to their land? The curse is broken. Somebody say the curse is broken. So if Africans are still under the yoke of slavery, it means we are not doing what the prophet Daniel did. We are not doing what Moses did. We are not doing what Jesus did. Yes. Yes. What did I say we are reading? Isaiah chapter 18. Isaiah chapter 18. Oh my God. I wish I had more time. Isaiah chapter 18. Woe to the land wearing with wings, which is beyond the rivers of Cush. If you put Cush, how will somebody know you are talking about Ethiopia? They put Cush. So we wouldn't know that the Bible mentions us. Cush means black. And the Bible is saying that this sent ambassador by now, even in the vessel. Look at what the definition it gives to black people in Isaiah chapter 8. He says, Go swift, you passengers, to a nation tall and polished, to a people who are terrible from the beginning, feared and dreaded, near and far, a nation strong and victorious, whose land the real a nation strong and victorious. Is that what I'm seeing of Ghana? No, I see a nation of beggars in debt sick struggling to the extent that Ghanaians have named their own country Ojakrum Fireland when the name Ghana means royal land I have read like the prophet Daniel that the Bible says I'm victorious as a black woman I am strong as a black woman I am feared as a black woman I am opulent as a black woman you are strong as a black person princes and princesses shall come out of Africa that was in the Psalms at the mouth of two or three witnesses the truth is established and when you go to Zephaniah, the prophet Zephaniah who is a black person he says from the rivers of Ethiopia, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, I will call my worshippers no wonder black people are good in gospel music if you are not seeing yourself According to what the Bible says you are, then you have to join this fast days of fasting and petition. For it only means that, like the people of Israel, who God said after 70 years, the yoke of slavery will be broken, and yet they were still living and facing 
injustice in the diaspora. All like the Jews in Egypt. Then it means something is wrong. What is the sense of the prayer and fasting? Daniel chapter 9. Daniel prays and asks for forgiveness. Black theologians wouldn't like this. We have to beg God for idolatry is one of the things that sent Israel into captivity. And I believe idolatry is what allowed the British to send us into captivity. And Daniel fasted and prayed and begged God to forgive his nation for idolatry. And after Daniel has finished praying, look at what's happened. An angel appears to him and tells him in Daniel chapter 9.23 Daniel at the beginning of your prayers God answered you and I've come to tell you what will happen Daniel was praying for only diasporic Jews was praying for only Jews God comes to give him a vision of the nations the nations we saw last week that it is God that allowed Babylon to send the Jews into exile. And when they went into exile, God went there with them. So we understand that it is God that allowed the British to go into their expedition. But every yoke of slavery has a time to end. Yet even after colonization, has ended we now have no colonization why because when you read the book of Daniel he says that empires are a beast from the death of the sea that comes to afflict nations so tonight we have just two prayers we are going to pray against any beast in charge of the slavery of diasporic Africans any beast in charge of the injustice of diasporic Africans die by fire but before we do this prayer, I want us to pray a prayer of forgiveness. So I'll read just a short of the prophet Daniel's prayer. Can we enter into the session of prayer? A prayer of forgiveness for the idolatry and having abandoned God and doing our own thing. When you ask a lot of traditional Ghanaians like the Evans, they tell you they came from Babylon, Amanakan. They tell us we came from Sudan. And when the Bible mentions Kush, it is talking about Sudan. I read Psalm 68 to you, which said, let me go to the Psalms again because it's very important. Psalm 68, verse 31, which said, but if I, you, before we go to 31, if you read 18, it says, you have ascended on high, you have let captives a train of vanquished fools. You have received gifts of men. Yes, the rebellious also that the Lord might dwell. This scripture is found and used as one of the songs, resurrection songs in Ephesians chapter 4. Let's see. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9. He who descended is the same who ascended on high above. Paul is referring to Psalm 68. He has ascended high above the heavens that he might fill all things and his gifts were varied. Did you see? He ascended, let captives free and gave gifts to men. Whatever we were that we were stolen in slavery, Jesus at his resurrection restored because when you read princes shall come out of Africa, he's talk, talking about the resurrection power that restored the African into their divine court as princes, princesses, opulent, wealthy, victorious, strong, tall, feared, ambassadors of Christ. 
worshippers of Christ, not worshippers of idols from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, of, of uh, beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. My worshippers, these are worshippers of idols. Shall we pray? We are a special people to God. When you read the book of Daniel, even the Son of Man, Jesus, in the book of Daniel, appeared as a black man. And when you go to the book of Revelation, the prophet John has the same vision of Jesus, whose feet is like bronze. Where I read to you from Psalm 68, which says, princes will come out of Africa. The word is bronze. That is how the Bible sees our color. The Italian Bible says, Ya bronzati. When there is no time for me to share to you, through history, God has been restoring the Africans to their divine call. Do you know that it was a black man who arranged the Bible that we have, Saint Athanasius? He's called the black dwarf. Do you know that it was black people who left Jerusalem and started preaching to Europeans, Greeks? Acts chapter 11. Do you know it was two black people who laid their hands on Paul as an ambassador? Do you know that it was a black man who took the gospel to Africa and not Europeans? Acts chapter 8. I say there is no time. Go on YouTube and find my sermons and study to show yourself approved. Before somebody comes to tell you you are nothing, find yourself in the Bible like the prophet Daniel did. Daniel just went to go to pray. He didn't know that there were powers, thrones, beasts, horns that were holding on to his captivity. So it doesn't take only social activism, activism, or political activism. That is why the Dianedu ministry wants to add prayer to Black History Month UK 2021. Because we Ghanaian proverb says when you are pulling something and it's not coming, something is holding. So it took prayer and fasting for God to reveal to Daniel that your captivity is overdue. Because there is a strong man called the Prince of Persia. Now we are addressing tonight the Prince of the United Kingdom. Who is in charge of the exclusion of black children at schools? Who is in charge? Of the slavery of black children. Who is in charge of the injustice of black people? Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Come on, come on, come on. Clap your hands, stop your feet. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. The Roman Empire was a beast. The British Empire is a was a beast that went out tonight. We address that beast by the superior blood of Jesus. Let our people go. Let our people go. Let our people go. Lose your grip by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Lose your grip over diasporic Africans. Lose your grip. Lose your grip over social injustice, over economic injustice. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Every strong man, every prince over the United Kingdom, every beast of the United Kingdom in charge of the yoke of slavery, of the captivity of African di di diasporic Africans by the blood of Jesus. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. This month, we declare a release of our children from the prisons. We declare an entrance of our children to the universities. We declare, let every uh, stop and search. Break. 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 I'm told we have just one minute. Come on, pray. Break. 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 Oh Lord, forgive ancestors. Forgive us and our ancestors of the sin of idolatry. And now, be gracious to us. And now, oh Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, we come to you. We ask any of our children that has been made as eunuchs by the empire. Oh Lord, we declare their release now. I'm praying this prayer because I saw that Daniel had vision when he was young that he was going to get married and have children. And yet, he was thrown in prison. So he couldn't marry. He couldn't have children. And that is what is happening to black people from the research that I showed you. Therefore, pray. Pray for their release. Pray for their release from every prison. Prison of economic prison. Social prison. Any prison. Spiritual prison. Lose your grip. 
Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. Let our people go. Let our children go. Let our wives go. Let our husbands go. Let the diasporic Africans go. Let my people go, says the Lord. Let my people go. We come against the house of Pharaoh by the blood of Jesus. We come against the house of Pharaoh by the blood of Jesus. Let our people go. Let our children go in the mighty name of Jesus. Join Lady Apostle Diana Adewu on The Good News TV and on Facebook every Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. BSD and on Sundays from 7 to 8 p.m. BSD for a live virtual prayer camp encounter dub. It's a new day. Awake your dawn through the word. Worship. Warfare. On The Good News TV, that's www.goodnewstv.org.uk and on Facebook. Lady. AP, Diana Adu Cristo.